same day for interview. I see there are uh, very few of you on the call, but uh, I don't know if there are any announcements from the Ten Academy team before we go straight to the stand up. Any announcements? No and hot then, seat today. Oh, okay, you know hot seat today. And I know the contest will still run as normally, same time, so maybe that's an announcement from me. If there are no other, no other announcements, maybe we can just go straight to the stand-up. What did you do yesterday? How far are you with your preparation for the interims today? And how would you... What are you planning to do today and tomorrow to be able to do the final submission by Sunday since we want to be meeting tomorrow for our stand up? Okay, volunteers. Volunteers, guys, how do you feel about this week working with real data? Yes, I just. Good morning, guys. Um, I say, uh, working with uh, real data, it's, it's way more fun. It's way more fun, I thought. Um, yesterday, I did some ADA. I couldn't finish it, so um, I met some blockers. Basically, I did ADA yesterday and this morning. So one of the blockers was um, plotting was the time it, it actually takes to to make some calculations. Right now I have six minutes and still counting, which I do, I don't know if there's there's a better way to do it. If there is, I'm still finding. I'm still looking out for that. So that's basically. That's basically everything I've done so far. Okay, thanks for that, Abdul Adidat. Maybe just to do a follow-up, which calculations are you talking about? Uh, the distance, the optimum distance and the distance is actually take the driver, the distance for the trip, the distance between the driver and the holder and the trip, while it was broadcasted because I have to iterate through all the all the 1.5 million rows to get it. I'm not sure if there's a better way or there's a better package that that does that in a seamless manner. Okay, so throwing that question to the to the other trainees who has encountered the same issue or uh, maybe who approached it in a different way. Maybe we can just discuss. It's already Friday, time for the interim submissions tonight and the uh, finals will be on Sunday, not far from now. So maybe has anyone been able to tackle this issue? Anyone, guys? Adjit, have you been able to ask on Slack? I don't know if I have followed up on Slack. Has this question been raised on Slack, Adjit? Yes, I, I dropped it a few minutes ago. And no one responded? No, is it, I, I think it's just a few minutes ago. Oh, okay. So with no input from the others, I don't know, maybe we just continue that discussion on Slack, but if you've been able to actually done, do that and uh, you're giving us your update, feel free to just share with the rest of the team the approach that you used, or if you're just using the same approach that you're just, just going through, looping through everything, through everything, all the data, 1.5, you said million. Okay. So somebody else, any other volunteer? And okay, maybe a digit back to you. How do you feel about tonight's submission? Will you, how are you? How far are you? I think I can make the count. I, I can make the submission. Once I get the calculation, it's just uh, the plotting. So, yeah, I think I can. Okay, that's, that's good to hear. So over to the next person. Do we have 
another volunteer to give us an update what they were able to do yesterday. Yes, Nick. Uh, I just wanna say like I reply to uh Oju's like message on Slack. Uh, I just pasted the approach I used to calculate all the distances, and it just took about a minute. Uh, yeah, I just, I saw it now. Okay. I it. okay. Thank you for that, Nat. Nail, for anyone who's experiencing the same issue, you can just go through a digital thread and, uh, yeah, there's a solution that has been found. So, Nat, Nail, maybe since you're out, I know you can speak and your mic is really working very well. Could you give us an update on how the project is doing from your end? Uh, it's going good, I guess. Like uh, I'm trying to finish the EDA part by today, and also like to start on the causal inference part. Uh, st I still have a, a, my biggest blocker is my laptop, and I see in the chat, like like my my laptop is like I don't know why, but it's taking too long to process some things, and it it kept it kept freezing, and I have to force it down and force restart it. Again and again, and that that was a huge blocker for me. But I, I'm trying to cope up with that and complete all the EDA and also the causal inference part by today. Yeah, that's my plan so far. Okay, thank you, Nathaniel, for that update. And sorry to care about your laptop issues. Same thing with Lisa. I think she had something about um the PC being a blocker. I think these are issues most of us face when dealing with this huge data. Most of our machines, when you come into this program, are not as capable. And then after week 12, we realize maybe I should get another one. So just there. I don't know if there's anything you can help with this week. It's already Friday. So maybe just, I don't, know, I don't know if you can say, try to run a few data at a time. I'm not so sure because the amount of data could could be leading to that, could be leading to those just lagging. I think I had the same issue during my time running an entire an entire model for a week. So it's it's expected, sorry about that guys, but yeah, there are better days ahead. So I don't know if there's somebody else with an update, maybe you can just go to somebody else. What did you do yesterday? What are you planning to do today? And how are you feeling about the submission tonight? Volunteer. Yes, Janet. Okay, good morning. Um, my update is I'm trying to do a exercise on EDA and I try to finalize that. And I'll try to <laughs> interconnect the relationship between those variables and uh, some drive variables from them. and. Uh, uh, in parallel, I will try to write the interim report. Uh, it is somehow uh, in this uh, challenge, it is somehow long, and it is asking about literature review. I will try to write that in parallel, and I hope I will finalize for the submissions. That's my uh, update. Thank you. Thank you, Janet, for that update. Does blockers yet? Uh, I'll try to drop some questions when uh, I analyze it. And uh, I have got uh, the uh, solutions and some suggestions. So uh, still not such uh, blockers on my side. Thank you. <laughs> OK, it is. That is very good to hear. So moving on to the next person, another volunteer. We're finishing with nine guys on to the last, we could say, trimester. <laughs> I think the 12 months, the 12 weeks we had, we are in our last four weeks. By now you should just be able to unmute and speak up what's on your mind. You know that you are a community. 
I don't want to pick up anyone, so I'll just do it for a volunteer. Maybe as we wait for a volunteer, I see there's a question by Ekobazgi on the chats. So do we have somebody who has been able to tackle this task? How do you deal with um, the task that Ekobazgi is asking, rain versus no rain? Yes, Melissa. Uh, like, I'm not sure about all of it, but I might give him like some hints about some of it like especially for holiday versus not holiday there is a, a resource hosted by uh posted by Nathanael Masrasha uh, there is a whole day package in python so he can use that and also for rain versus no rain there is a free weather api so he can ju just make it an api call using the coordinates and the date and uh, yeah, weekend versus weekday, uh, also the same as like there is a built-in package in Python. You can just use the weekday and it returns like the day, the day number. And based on that, you can decide whether it, it, it was a weekday or not. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm not just sure about the special occasions in the traffic condition part. I did just just gone. Uh, can you can you share the rain versus no rain? The one that works with coordinates because I'm I was skeptical about uh, getting rain and no rain because uh, they might say it's rained in Lagos and it might rain here and not uh, it might rain in some parts and not in other parts. But if there's one that uh, works with coordinates, uh, a light feeling or something. Mohammed, you wanna contribute? Okay, I'll, I'll just drop it, the link here. All right, thank you. No, I, I want to give my update. Okay, so maybe before we go to you, Mohammed, I was to ask Ekubazgi if this question is also on Slack. Some very good insights have been given by Nat Nail Melissa. And I think this question could also just go to Slack and the creator thread on the same, somebody also figures out about the special occasions and the traffic conditions to also contribute to that thread. So Ekobazgi can just shift this, even the link that has been shared. And yeah, let's keep that conversation going. Okay, Mohammed. Yes, good morning, um, good morning. all of my teammates and Chain Academy. Hey. So the update from my side, I didn't do anything at all. Um, as uh, I told before yesterday, on the standard uh, meeting that I have, uh, uh, am I audible? Yes, I can, I can hear you. Yes, uh, so as I told before, before yesterday, uh, I was preparing for a public sector session and uh, uh, it took me all, all of the time and the preparation and um, so uh, I focused on that and uh, and it went well yesterday so uh, I will try to catch up uh, with the work and the flow of the work today so I hope I could Okay, that's a good update, Mohammed. Maybe do you have a strategic plan on how you'll be able to catch up by submission time? Um, I will try uh, to do some of the tasks, but uh, currently I do not have any strategic plan. Okay, so I just still hope because the submission is tonight that you'll be able to make those submissions. So maybe just uh, go through the deliverables, figure out what's more important for tonight's submission, start with those, and uh, then you can continue to catch up after the submission. Okay, I'll, I'll make sure to do that. And I will reach to my teammates if anything happened. 
Yeah, okay, so that's nice. So it means you've already found a team, something that everybody else and you can just work as a team. So this is the first, I think, you just had you're working as a team. Yes, last last week group. Oh, group three, group three string still going on strong. That's that's still good to hear that the the connections yes. are uh, still expanding. Yes. Okay. So do we have any other update? I see the updates still coming in from the chats. We have a bit to can keep it to finish, of course. So do we have any other unmute the button and um, a volunteer to give us an update? As we just check the chats, if there's a blocker from the ones who have contributed in the chats. And if you've contributed and I've not mentioned a blocker, just say, so there's no blocker or, uh, yeah, this is, this is my blocker. So we're waiting for that next volunteer. Okay, do we don't have any volunteers. I just went through the chats and um, most people are still doing EDA. Some have started on causal learning, doing some visualizations, some good, some good progress. We also have a class today on logistic optimization. That's on the last task, which I don't miss that. I think that could be one of the biggest part of this week's challenge. So we'll have that in the evening. There are no other volunteers. Volunteers, let's keep the conversation going. Okay, I don't like the silence, so maybe I'll just break the roll and try to pick up names if there are no volunteers. So just randomly to um, Johannes, Johannes Kutema. Hello. So your, your mic is quite noisy. Okay, try to say something. Say, say something now, maybe just say something, then maybe you can see if you can just get your update from the chats, Johannes. Hello. Yes, that's much better. Yeah, I think so. Uh, I'll use my phone. Uh, Yesterday was uh, good. Uh, actually, this uh, week challenge is uh, uh, great. And uh, yesterday, I tried to uh, read the challenge and to understand uh, different uh, literature uh, from uh, YouTube and other sources. And I try to uh, work on the EDA one and. Uh, uh, still, I am working on EDA. Today, uh, uh, I hope I will uh, submit on time with uh, EDA in the entry report. This is, thank you. The, my blocker is, uh, especially I faced a challenge with the uh, internet connection problem. Uh, even I am going to, I lose uh, many tutors. Uh, this is my blocker. Thank you. Okay, thank you very much for that update. Again, network, network issues are uh, 
of one. I'd say not not so unfortunate that they have really issues that I mean, but yeah, just the I don't know. I don't even know the message say because I don't know what kind of network they're using. Is it Wi-Fi? I don't know about that. What's causing what's causing most of the issues? Is there something from the instead? So yeah, just the that's a really unfortunate and uh, just like the laptop unfortunate issue. We have our next update from Wangoi. Wangoi, go ahead. Hello. Um, I <laughs> have not gone forward as much as I wanted to with today's project. Um, I, I received a really, um, really bad news yesterday and I, um, I think it's going to affect, uh, maybe the timeliness of me, um, submitting, uh, on the EDA part, um, I have done mostly uni univariate analysis, uh, like frequency of a couple of the columns, and I've also merged the table. Um, I plan, I also uh, started on my report for the, like, um, the part for the literature review and uh, the re a bit about the EDA. Um, I am hoping to submit it today. I I think um, I'll I'll be able to, and also work on the causal the causal graph. Uh, today as well. Okay, thank you, Ongoi, for, for contributing. Sorry for your bad news. I and um, yeah, I just hope that you'll be able to submit whatever you can. Yeah, I think these things happen in life, and uh, they just affect us in one way or another. So yeah, thanks so much for contributing. Maybe we can go to next. Any other person who wants to volunteer or I could just pick somebody random, Miss Mtinan. Hello. Uh good morning. I'm so I'm volunteering. Uh I for me, um yesterday uh I haven't managed to do as much as as I wanted as as well. I'm working on the ADA. Um uh, I find the, the discussions in Slack. Uh, in my group is very are very useful. Um, like uh, uh, <laughs> uh, people are are dropping good hints and good um, um, steps to follow. Um, um, I was also try working on the report. Um, yeah, so that's where I am right now. I will continue working on it, and hopefully, I will be able to submit um, on time. Okay, thank you, MTNN, for that update. So that's still group one from the group. You're working as group one, uh, the team that you are at group one. So you formed another group. Yeah, it's a group one. Yeah, we are, we they we have a um yeah we have a still our Slack uh, channel is still active. Uh, people are discussing there. I'm I'm not I'm not I'm not uh, I'm just uh, trying to follow what they they. Put that hint. I'm not. I'm not really part, putting anything useful forward. But yeah, it's, it's it. It has been very, very nice um, to have a group like this. We, yeah. Okay, that is very really nice to hear, and I'm still glad to glad to hear that the groups that were formed now that group one and group three are still working together. That is connections that really help us within the program and also afterwards. So. It's really good to hear that you guys are still working, working together. Do we have another volunteer? 
мы вас где опять не смотрите. Um, hi, my updates. Um, I have been working on EDA. Um, I have also tried to uh, understand uh, or play around with data shader. Um, uh, yeah, hoping today I can start writing my report for the day and I still have some issues with um, data exploration on uh, creating features such as rain versus no rain, the traffic conditions. Uh, I haven't managed to do that. Uh, but yeah, I'm a bit hopeful. I also tried to uh, use the other uh, softwares that I'm used to using to analyze data, but I noticed that almost all of them do not support um, the this huge amount of data. So I'm grateful for the new tools that you're learning. Uh, yeah, thanks. Okay, thank you, Margaret, for that effort. It's good to hear that you're using your libraries and just to hear your what you've learned. What you've learned to see again, also hoping that you'll be able to make a submission by tonight. Do we have another volunteer? There's no one feeling left out, something that has actually a bad deal since Wednesday. We had a good rest on Monday, Tuesday, then Wednesday, you're back to stress. There's no one else with something bugging, bugging them and they just want to share. You know, it's easier when people just listen sometimes. So we don't have anyone with an issue that we just want to share. We still have time, so I think I could just still pick one more time, one more person. As I've seen a question from the Gaga, maybe just let me pick one more person as I go through the question. So again, randomly, too, we've had three ladies speaking now. That is very nice. So Patrick, Patrick from Hi, Hi. Are you there? Kindly unmute and say something or leave a comment on the chats. It's not professional to stay quiet when your name is mentioned, Patrick. Okay, so Patrick will be waiting to hear from you from the chats. Otherwise, it just means you're not on the call. And if I just drop you from the call, that would be okay. There's no need to get an attendance to stand up if you're not really on the other side of this call. So we'll just pick one more person. We'll go to Birhanu. I see you are unmute. I don't know if you're trying to to speak. You can maybe say something in the chats as well. Birhanu, because I see you are unmute, but I cannot hear anything. If you're trying to speak, maybe just say something on the chat as well. 
as we go to Kibato. Kibato. No, I did I see an an update from Kibato on the charts? Yes, there's an update from Kibato. Bekalo. Bekalo, have you been able to give us an update? Bekalo. Well, what's happening? Are people really there? Are they just logged in? And then they went to have tea. Very fast in most of our... We have Gideon. Yes, Gideon. Hello, good morning. Can you hear me? Good morning. Yes, I can hear you. Okay. So, uh, I've been trying to work on the EDA uh, since yesterday, and uh, I've been having some issue with power and internet, but uh, I've just been doing some pre preliminary exploration on the data, uh, and I'm, I'm planning on finishing that today and working on the report. Any blockers yet, Kiden? Uh, yes, I think like uh, just e the the amount of data and just it requires a lot of computational power and that has been an issue even setting up the tools has been kind of a, an issue but i'm confident i can i can overcome those challenges okay that is very really nice that you are confident about it again i think since this has been mentioned again maybe i'd advise if your machine does not have as much computational power Maybe just use a section of the data just to make sure that you have been running smoothly. Then if you do have time at the end, then you can run your pipeline through all the data. So if your machine is really struggling, maybe just use a portion of the data to start with just to get some insights. There's a question on charts from the Gaga. I think I've also seen this posted on Slack. I don't know if there's somebody who has an immediate update or we can just continue this conversation from, from Slack. So maybe the Gaga, I think I just got one question from the information shared by Olitosin, the guest talk we had on Wednesday. Was it explicitly mentioned that the orders can happen days apart? Is this something we know or is this something we're inferring that there's a possibility that the order can happen, that the trip, the delivery can happen days after the order? So I think there is actually a response, something that can help from Yagibal has just been sent immediately. Right, right now, there's an update from Yagibal on the data, talking something about timestamp. So I think that could provide some, some insights. So yeah, I hope that actually helps a little bit. on all week nine it's on the channel all week nine i see there's a an update from your bible from just a minute ago
Okay. So the standard is supposed to be 30 minutes. I guess no one is willing to share a lot more than we hoped. So I think there's only one. Announcement I saw from the chats from the academy team. This is a reminder on the mock interview. I think just yes, Kubazi and Jonas would better understand this, but yeah, they have been reminded of a mock interview. Okay, is there anyone else who's feeling left out? Otherwise, I think you can just end it here. You guys don't seem to want to talk too much this morning. Uh, have a nice weekend. You know, we won't be meeting again. There won't be another stand up until the final final submission. I hope that you will be able to just use the chats a lot, the Slack a lot. I think uh, most of the team will just be available, especially for tomorrow. So let's just keep the conversations active for the ones who are using their groups. Kudos just because some, at least there we know somebody is, is replying. So use your groups to if you're stuck. Also use the channel if you're stuck. There won't be any other stand-up, but don't, don't let this be a blocker for you to not make it the final submission on Sunday. Otherwise, cheers, bye. And, um, cheers, bye. And uh, again, let's meet next week. I think Monday will be an off day because the submissions will be on Sunday. This might actually be confirmed, but I think Monday will also be an off day, so it means the next stand-up will also be on Tuesday. Okay, so just bye guys. To an academic team, you can just stop the recording. Yeah, cheers, bye.